Hey, what's up? Yo. Are you ready for the exam? I studied, but I don't think I am confident enough to get high grades from it. That's fine, it happens. Is there anything that I can help you with? Perhaps a topic that is still unclear to you. Maybe I can be of help. Well, I've been stuck in philosophical and sociological perspectives of education for how many days now? And I don't seem to understand what it actually means. Okay, uh, let me explain what I know about the topic. There are four general frameworks that provide the root or base from which the various educational perspectives are derived. These are the idealism, realism, pragmatism, and existentialism. These perspectives shaped education, helping the students get ready themselves for their future careers as it talked about how to discover and develop the ability of the individuals to better serve the society. It considers knowing and understanding the ultimate form of such ability. It also gives emphasis on the experiences of the students and how it helps them prepare for their future careers. It gives emphasis on freedom where individual learner is defined by his or her own choice. These philosophical perspectives are the school of thoughts which can help shaping current education. Oh, but there are still things I want to know. I'm just curious about how educators actually apply these perspectives in the classroom setups. Hmm, yes, but there are some activities that we can consider for that. Some educators are creative enough to make necessary activities for the students to enjoy through methods that may hook the interest of the students to actually learn. Yes, but the question is how? And also, I want to know how these perspectives actually influence the current education that we are experiencing today. Hmm. Yes. Same wonder. Hmm. What learning do we actually gather from these perspectives? I don't think it's enough to just know something. Those two terms may be synonymous, but learning is deeply knowing. Agreed. What I learned about is that these perspectives help shape the education today. Through discussions and other method of teaching is what is being emphasized in the theory of idealism. It helps the students engage with the absolute knowledge which can be done through asking questions, which is also a way to clarify the knowledge we are trying to learn. Right. Realism, on the other hand, gives emphasis on the reality. We don't base on the lectures alone, but also we focus on the mastery of the facts through demonstrative activities and recitations. Definitely. And in pragmatism, it emphasizes the learning through experiences. Application is the way of learning argued by the theory. We apply what we have learned. It can be through group projects which will require us to be socially engaged with others. You know how important social interaction is, right? Absolutely. And in existentialism, it emphasizes our freedom as students. We are defined depending on what course of actions we make and what decisions we do. We decide what we want to become. Yes, and because education is the building blocks for students to actually learn the norms, values, and skills we have to acquire for us to function in society, we're being taught about the importance of social interaction. Yes, social interaction. It helps the students socialize and prepare us for the future. Simply, these philosophical and sociological perspectives consider our strengths and weaknesses as students for us to function in the society. Now I'm confident to take the exam. Oh good, me too. Let's go.